Yesterday I was informed that ex-Defence Forces Chief of Staff, Vice Admiral Mark Mellet, retired, uploaded a post to his Twitter account condemning the satirical soldier, which of course is me, in the wake of the murders of two men in Sligo. In my opinion, he implies in a somewhat vague and cowardly manner that my rhetoric helps to fuel such despicable and heinous acts, which of course compelled me to issue this response. In this video, I will break down Mellet's comment and highlight his stupidity as well as his hypocrisy. But before I begin, I wish to make clear that I do not intend to defend my own comments in a comprehensive way, as I have done so already in other videos. However, if you wish to understand my views on diversity, inclusion and equity, and indeed Mellet's negative impact on the Defence Forces, I will ask that you watch the following videos on this YouTube channel and make up your own mind on what motivates me. I want to begin by highlighting the fact that Mellet has tagged several political leaders and organisations in this post, and I will gladly dismiss this pathetic act in the following way. I do not care who you tag in your efforts to tarnish me. In fact, if I had my way, you and the politicians you've mentioned would be on trial for your freedom, if not your lives for treason. I will also say that it is lamentable and indeed a travesty that you held the same position as General Richard Mulcahy, a man who fought for Irish freedom during the Easter Rising. I dare say he would view your record as Chief of Staff with disgust and contempt. I now want to discuss Mellet's reference to diversity and inclusion. Diversity and inclusion are ideological terms that are meant to replace talent and merit. They represent a system designed to value individuals for their immutable characteristics, like gender, race and sexuality, instead of an individual's ability to perform. As Chief of Staff, Mellet pursued this system by not only breaking Defence Forces regulations, by marching with uniformed soldiers in the Dublin Pride Parade, which happens to be a protest with political motivations, but by helping to create an environment where soldiers endured varying levels of unequal treatment. I have spoken about this at length in my video entitled The Safety is Off Part 2 Identity Politics and Equity, should anyone care to listen. Needless to say, I find the idea of valuing an individual for their skin colour, gender or sexual orientation appalling. I now want to speak about Mellet's reference to civil liberties. I find it disgraceful and indeed repulsive that you refer to civil liberties, while only a year ago our soldiers were instructed to meet, escort and detain families in soft prisons, while you held the organisation's most senior rank. And know this, while you sanctioned the operation to steal from innocent men, women and children their civil liberties, I found this oath-damaging concession so egregious that I applied for my discharge. How dare you speak of liberty and indeed hide behind it as if its value is meaningful to you. If liberty meant anything to you, you would not have obeyed your political masters, just as I chose not to obey you. You should be ashamed of yourself. It is also very apparent to me that your tolerance for liberty also seems not to extend into the realm of freedom of speech, as you proudly declare that fueling hatred must stop. Make no mistake, I know exactly what you were doing and why you tagged that specific audience as our political establishment seeks to create laws to crush freedom of speech. I want you to understand clearly my next statement. I am a believer in freedom almost to the point of anarchy and I support fully the rights of my fellow humans to engage in the lawful expression of their sexuality. I support fully the rights of all men and women to march in protest and wave proudly the flags of their choice. I support fully the rights of free men and women not only to deny biology in favour of gender ideology, but for people with gender dysphoria to alleviate their suffering through hormone therapy and the mutilation of their bodies. However, when I am called upon to accept ideas that run antithetical to my own world view, 
I have every right to deny, and indeed, deny I will. I will treat my fellow humans with the compassion and dignity they deserve. However, I will not tolerate any individual, party or movement interfering with my fundamental right to speak my mind, however benevolent they believe their cause, which is a point that has been lost on so many people who challenge and defame me, including you, it seems. Freedom of speech to me is the most important of all freedoms we possess as individuals in a society. It is the mechanism by which we communicate our thoughts and solve our problems, and it's as simple as this. I will not have my words dictated or restricted by either you or indeed members of any group, whether laws exist commanding me to comply or emotional blackmail is used to coerce me into submission. In closing, I will say the following. My tolerance stops where authoritarianism begins, and people like you, Vice Admiral Mark Mellet retired, are evidently trying to purge society of opinions which you happen to find distasteful or indeed dangerous. But let me be absolutely clear. On this Easter Sunday, I will honour the men and women who gave their lives so I can be free to speak my mind, and I will defy anyone to try and stop me.